So what's the web? It used to be difficult to explain what the web would be like. Now it's difficult to explain why it was difficult. In 1980, when we used fax machines to share documents and travel agencies to book flights and hotels, Tim Berners-Lee, a young Oxford graduate, first came to CERN as an independent IT professional to computerize CERN's proton synchrotron's control system. But back in the 1980s, at CERN, it was an exciting place to be. Lots and lots of information systems on different computers, on different networks, all incompatible. So the idea was that one should be able to communicate by sharing information. He needed to understand a mass of information and how to link people, hardware and software. For that, he wrote a program and named it Enquire, after a Victorian reference book he remembered from his childhood for giving easy access to a mass of useful information. Then he went back to the UK. When he returned to CERN as a fellow in 1984, the laboratory had grown to become a leading centre for data network and he wrote software that ran over them. In 1989, he saw an opportunity to join hypertext with the internet. So CERN was an interesting place to be. It was, yes, it was advanced. It was, it, it was somewhere where in 1989, most people had some sort of a workstation on their desk, which was unusual then. And a place where the internet, the network connectivity had just arrived. Well, the network connectivity had been there for a while. Using similar ideas to those underlying the Enquire system, Tim wrote the first proposal for the World Wide Web in March 1989, and his second proposal in May 1990. Together with Belgian systems engineer Robert Caillot, this was formalized as a management proposal in November 1990. By the end of 1990, Tim Berners-Lee had the first web server and browser up and running on his next computer at CERN. The number of hits on this machine, it started off as 100 a day, then a year later, it was 1,000 a day, and then a year later, it was 10,000 a day. In 1991, the first web server outside of Europe was up at Slack, the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center in California. Many would follow. In 1993, CERN management decided that the web should act as an open standard for all to use. That was an essential decision. So the web we have, if we had not had that document from CERN, we would not have the web. Today, with nearly two billion websites, we do not remember and cannot even imagine a world without the World Wide Web. <laughs>